Hey. Uh, how are you? I'm good. I haven't seen you in so long. Hey, uh, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> Did I tell you that me and my family went to New York last month? No. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I took them by to see me and Paul's apartment. No. Yeah. And my dad wouldn't come up. <laughs> Do they know? I mean, have you told them you're not together anymore? No. Oh, God, David. I know. <laughs> I know. It's just... I just want my mom to die thinking I'm doing okay. You know, that's all. It's just... I thought that this was the moment when I was supposed to get, like, all religious -y, you know? Like, I thought when your mom dies, you have this moment when you're both, like, sitting on a park bench, and it's a beautiful day out, and then all of a sudden I hear the voice of God, and, and, and everything just makes sense. You know, like, I, I want that. I want that moment. I weirdly had, like, that moment. Sort of. Yeah? Yeah. I remember when my mom died, everyone at church was like, you know, at least she'll be looking down on you from heaven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is like the worst thing you want to hear. I mean, it's the worst thing. Yeah. But the only meaningful thing anyone said to me that entire time was from my mom. We were outside. Good start. Yeah. Just a warning, this is going to get gay. Okay. <laughs> um, we were outside, and I remember her saying something about how much she loved birch trees, you know. Which... I already knew, um, but then she said, when I die, I'm going to be a birch tree. So when you see one, that's me. And I totally should have forgotten about it because it was such a small random thing and people say bullshit like that all the time. But it's always stuck with me because, you know, now whenever I see a birch tree, I literally always think of her and it's so nice. Yeah. So I didn't learn some big, huge lesson. But there's my Jesus-y moment, sans Christ. And I'll always have it. That, that's really nice. 